Hey guys, what is up Dave here coming to you with an update to the setup for the Ford Probe. The Ford Probe, we've learned some new things about shift points in the game. We've learned some new things about building engines in this game by looking at parts uh, in specific ways. And just overall, I wanted to make this car, you know, fair and open to everybody because not everybody's going to really figure out how to drive this car, especially with some of the new stuff we found ever since the Integra GSR tournament. I don't know who to credit for thinking of racing this way, but basically I'm going to show you one race and then we're going to go over the setup and you'll see what I mean by how this thing has kind of a strange method of racing now. So as you saw with first shift, it was at 4,000 RPM. Second shift, roughly 5,500. Third shift was like 6,000-ish. And then the rest are at redline in nitrous and fifth. That's because we use the lightest weight transmission with stock gears. We use the differential that lets us edit gears. And then we can run times like that. So I'm going to go over the setup with you guys. And uh, let's make this thing fair and open to everybody. I have hit nines in this car, 9.999. Uh, one other racer on the Discord has hit 9.959. And we have very different methods of racing this car, which is actually pretty cool. But I'll save my opinions for, you know, how the racing is with this car for the end of the video. And then let me know how you feel about Auto Legends so far in the comments down below. So let's hit the Speed Lab. All right, so here we are in Speed Lab. As you can see, 675 for horsepower, 623 for torque, 2831 for weight. Now, as you can see with performance, I'm going to go over everything. You're looking at CKR Tech crankshafts, the Brocker Tech heads, Flow Pro valves, Golden Hawk block, the second one, not this one, the Performance Plus rods. And the Powerdyne Pistons, the first ones, not the second ones. Yes, these add more power, but they remove a lot of torque. The intake system, you want the Works throttle body, you want the Speedworks intake, and you want the Works intake manifold. For fuel system, you want the last one, the Injector Pro injectors. Realistically, they're just the best ones. Now, for forced induction, you want the intercooler, from turbo you don't really need a bov i was just kind of messing with it to see if they make a difference uh supercharger you need the supercharger involved supercharger does seem faster for this thing now we go with cooling you want the stock oil cooler but you want the k racing crasing k racing uh radiator for exhaust you want the red tech cat back system the top performance exhaust manifold and the tracing catalytic converter. As far as electronics, you want the Fuel Pro ECU and the MSD Performance Ignition Pack. Nitrous, you always want that 100 shot. Suspension, you want the Shock Pro suspension. Tires, you got to do the weird tire trick at the moment with, uh, because remember, this game is an alpha. It can change at any given moment. Uh, you're looking at the drag tires first, make them super large, come back to the tire shop, put the radials on, and then make them super small um within the stance tuning which i'll show you in a second the drivetrain you want to do the works multi-disc race clutch the clutch pro flywheel axle pro drive shaft meekin spool differential and the minus 30 pounds transmission the speed gears transmission so from here you just only worry about final drive when it comes to tuning you go over to your gearing I like to use 2.72. I kind of wish I could do something like 2.725. I really do because that feels like it would be absolutely perfect. But getting the in-between is very difficult. And I don't know if uh, that's something that's going to be supported in the long run. But also, everybody's computer is a little different. So 2.71 might be best for you. 2.73 might be best for you. When I ran the 9.999, it was on 2.73. But I went backwards a little bit just to see if it would help. And now we'll go back to racing and I'll explain how to race the car again. All right, overall, how do I feel about racing in the game at the moment? Well, really no, because I kind of like that you have to hunt for these shift points. It reminds me of CSR Racing 1 back in the day. 
for a little while I was the fastest racer in CSR 1 because I figured out with the CSR edition BMW Z4 when you max it out and had all the little uh the they're like mechanic things that made your power a little bit faster or your car a little bit faster when i had all that in the game on that car i ended up figuring out how to launch and shift that car in a way that i basically ran the fastest time in that car to the point that they actually banned me because they thought i was cheating and i had to prove to them that i wasn't cheating for once Um, I did have unlimited money, (laughs) but racing wise, I was completely legitimate. So as far as racing in this game, oh, that's a weird ET I've never had before. As far as racing in this game, I don't know if I like this weird meta of shift point hunting where, you know, you shift first gear at 4,000 the next year at maybe 5,500, the rest of them at red line, you know, that little hunt. Because in real life, if we're shooting for some, uh, complete realism, you don't shift a car like that, especially on the drag strip. You throttle control in some form. And right now, at least, we don't have a throttle control of that nature, so we can't really control it that way. So the only other option is shifting. Which is why we're doing kind of these weird shifts now of, you know, um, you know, whatever we're doing. Because you have to control your tire spin somehow. You need to get to the maximum grip somehow. Best way is to just shift. Just figure out your shifting. On one hand, I like it because I did very much enjoy CSR Racing 1. But on the other hand... If we're shooting for semi-realism, I don't know if I do. So this is why I want to have you guys leave your comments in the uh, comment section down below about how you feel about Auto Legends. Give us some honest feedback, whether you've played the game or not. From what you've seen with my videos, how do you feel? How do you, uh, you know, if you have played the game, how do you feel? You know, it's, we can take feedback from anywhere and everywhere. It doesn't hurt to ever take feedback from multiple sources in multiple ways. That was a really fast time. 10.15 at the top right. That's crazy. 10.039. Wow, another one. I'm going to do one or two more races. I'm going to cut out the loading screens, and then we'll call it a video. Hope you guys enjoyed. All right, let's get this going on one or two more races here, and we'll call it a day. So like I said, 4,000-ish, 5,000-ish. 6,000-ish, red line, nitrous in fifth. Pretty much about as good as you can get. Ooh, that was really well done. Some of these later shifts were a little bit early on my part, but overall, not a bad run. Terrible reaction time, though. Absolutely terrible for a reaction time. (laughs) I need to figure that out real quick. Uh, Wow, that was actually really slow. Oh, I probably have engine damage. Well, with that, I'll call it a video. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the update to the Ford Probe. We'll call this the Ford Probe 2.0. And like I said, let's have a conversation down below. Peace out.